Got some manatee over there. It's like a handful of them. Water is beautiful today. There's a couple of little rock paths you got to get out the sandbar and then uh, easier path going this way. Big hickory and little hickory. This place is amazing over here. Look at this water, beautiful. If you're not familiar with this area, this is the north end of Bonita Beach in Bonita Springs, Florida. Water is crystal clear. Let's go walk this sandbar a little bit pretty shallow over here if you are taking a boat you're gonna want to cruise along the channel here but take it pretty far down you never want to cut across here because you'll likely run aground if you don't know what you're doing Look at this water. It's like the Caribbean. By the way, that's Benita Beach Club. Condos in there. Starting pretty much in the 400s. I've seen a lot of people run aground right here and I've been on a couple of boats that have run aground right here so One of which one time we actually had a wave runner strap up to us and pull us out. It's pretty interesting. Good times. Shout out to Andy Emerson on that. I mean, look at this water. So clear. So I bought back here in Bonita Beach Club uh, about two years ago. And I can tell you, it's probably one of the best places I've ever purchased. 
to be able to walk out to this back area. Also, when it's when it's rough out here, really windy, and you're on the actual Bonita Beach over there facing west, and you have onshore breezes, it can be a little rough over there. So we'll come back here a lot of times because there's a big windbreak over there. And uh, and a lot of times more action out here on the weekends. This is a pretty tame day actually for a Saturday. Looks like some Wave Runner tours going out. Also just on the other side of this is uh, Hickory Boulevard, which leads into Estero Boulevard. And you can park on the side, on this far side over here. And um, a lot of times they rent these kayaks, canoes, wave runners. But also if you have your own, then obviously park over there and launch right in there. It's a couple little canals over on this side as well by the, by the bridge. Handful of canals that'll uh, bring you out here to this area. And now this is the pass between Big Hickory and Little Hickory. But again, you need to know how to navigate it. You can kind of see the drop off of the darker water. You just got to follow that. Um, but as you can see, the sandbar, you'll run aground. Also back there, it's kind of a little canal that brings you on the back side of uh, big hickory over there and it's a cool spot where you can just veg out. It's usually pretty private over there. A lot of good fishing all throughout here. This channel is relatively deep though. Every time I've been in there it's been pretty pretty damn deep. And again that channel is back there where you can go ahead and drop your kayak or canoe and then up over on this side as well. And when I lived on the mainland, I'd usually drop in and then I would normally park over there because you're really sheltered from the tides as well as any kind of rough waters. So right where those boats are, I would basically post up. Yeah, even the water coming into the pass over here is all just clear and Beautiful waters. What's happening? Good yourselves? But you can see all this water is still turquoise in color. We're crushing it over here. Always a ton of wildlife out here as well. I mean, you saw a manatee earlier in the clip, but all sorts of birds out here. A lot of good fishing out here. If you do need bait, you can cast net. Um, once in a while, there's a shortage of live bait out here, but usually when we cast net out here, we're always catching live bait to go fish with. So right now it's end of May and the weather is partly cloudy, but uh, I'd say we're in the 80s for sure. Got a little bit of breeze in the air, so the humidity is not too bad. A lot of times on the, on the coast, um, because the amount of breeze that we get out here, it's usually, the humidity is usually not too bad, all things considered. A bit rolling up. If we had to count the amount of boats out here, you got 
two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, up twenty buds out here, twenty-two ish. Anchored up. Sometimes it gets pretty packed up where I have closer to 50, 60 boats out here. And that island is pretty cool to hook up to as well if you just want to chill out on the beach. Usually not that many people out there. Um, they sometimes call that nude beach or naked beach, whatever. Sometimes you'll see some people out there sunbathing in the buck. What's happening? Good, you? Yeah, yourselves? And just to give you an idea of really how clear this water is, check it out. That's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, we appreciate a big thumbs up. And uh, if you want to check out more area attractions around the state of Florida, this is the channel for it. We're going to be sharing any and all experiences we have, as well as economical information about Florida, as well as real estate. And uh, anyway, if you like that kind of content regarding Florida, go ahead and subscribe, and we appreciate it. Thanks a lot.